Have you ever found yourself on a busy street with a bride and groom and you don't know what to do? Well, I guarantee you after today, you're never going to look at another busy street the same way again. What's up everyone, Alan Martinez here and today we're going to be doing some street shooting. You know, oftentimes you find yourself in a situation where you do not have a clean background to work with. But that's the case for every single bride in New York City every Saturday. There's not a square inch in New York City without police officers, construction, taxis, tourists, people with their selfies. Everywhere you look, there's always hundreds of people. But that's what you have to work with and you have to be creative to make it work. If brides are getting married in Manhattan or any other busy street for that matter, you're gonna have to learn how to live with this and be creative. And today I'm gonna show you just how I do that. So we're back in our room, we're going to be in New York City for the next few days. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to film a few episodes for the YouTube channel. Most photographers try to avoid people in their pictures and cars in their backgrounds and things like that. But today, we're going to embrace that. We're going to go out in the streets of New York and shoot some really cool pictures with some people in the background, cars moving, dirty backgrounds, and all the charm that New York has to offer for our pictures. We have a really pretty model, a pretty day, so let's get to it. So we're walking over to the location that I picked to do this video, which is right across the street from the Plaza Hotel. There's some intersections there that get really busy. I've taken wedding pictures there before as the bride is crossing the street from Central Park to the Plaza. And it really gives it that city look that it's hard to get anywhere else. I'm gonna try to have the model walking through cars, walking in front of people, crossing the street with a bunch of people behind her. Should be fun, I'm excited. You know, this was actually the first time I met this model, five minutes before we started shooting. You may see some other videos with her in this channel, but this was actually the first time we actually met. So what I want you to do is um, go across the street and hopefully there'll be a point where the, where the cars are gonna let you cross through and I can see you. And then that'll be my, I'll give you a, a command to cross and then you cross right through like that. But I want movement, so move, move the dress a little bit, like move your hair too when you're crossing the street. Okay. All right, see like right there would be perfect. Obviously not through cars, but so go ahead and cross over and then I'll tell you when to come back towards me. We all know that the photo time is limited on the wedding day. So use every second you have and shoot constantly. Just don't shoot them in the picture spot that you had envisioned. Shoot them going there, coming back, crossing the street. You'll be surprised at the photographs you get when they're not expecting it. And once you're in the moment and you got your creative juices flowing, don't be afraid to try new ideas. What's the worst that can happen? So while we're waiting here, it would be so cool if there's a cab stalk right there and I'm gonna ask him to lower the window and um, hopefully I can shoot her through the window and the guy's looking at her. Let's just do that and see what we get. Can you lower the window a little bit? Can I shoot her through the car? Can you lower the window? Thank you. I walk. So that seemed like a cool idea, but I wasn't very happy with the first time I tried it, so I tried it again. Can you lower the window so I can shoot her through the window of the car? Your, your window. And move up a little bit. Move. Keep going. There. Thank you. And again. So what we're waiting for is we're waiting for there to be a few yellow cars parked behind each other and I want her to walk right through the yellow cabs. It'll give her some separation in between all those yellow cars with the, with the red dress that she's wearing. So let's just sit around here and wait for a few minutes and hopefully a few cars will be parked right behind each other. Oh, that's beautiful. Go back again. I'm gonna get some reflection off of this, uh, of this cab right here. Go back a little more. Keep going, keep going. All right, and go, walk. You know, a quick thing to try here is uh, since the cars are moving very slowly and you're also moving 
as well, you can try some really cool panning shots by slowing down your shutter speed and whatever's moving in the same direction as you, it's not going to be blurry. So we had to move locations because we're not getting the volume of yellow cars that I wanted. So we moved to the other corner. You know, for a minute there, this started to feel like a scene out of a movie where I would move to one corner looking for the yellow taxis and all the cabs will be on the opposite corner. But there's an awesome reflection there that it would be great if she walks towards me and uh, maybe I can see some of her in that reflection. All right, so this is what I mean about embracing the, the, the elements that you have to work with. I see a truck back there working underground, and not right now, but earlier there was a lot of smoke coming out of the ground, which is a lot more prominent in the winter and stuff like that, but we have it here now. And I wanna wait for the right opportunity for there to be some calves along the way and wait for that smoke to be noticeable for her to walk right through the smoke. We'll see if we can look it with something like that. By the way, all these pictures were tried in dead stop traffic in the middle of a rush hour in New York City. I've been shooting stuff like this for almost 10 years and I feel like I almost have a sixth sense already for something like this and for safety. But as you know, New York drivers don't give a Exercise safety first and don't put your life or your client's life at risk. So that's my short PSA for this video. Basically, don't do anything stupid and get yourself hurt. New York's weather could change in a New York's minute. It could be sunny and blue skies in one minute and the next minute could be dark clouds and raining and storming. And that's exactly what we experienced. But I think we got a lot of cool pictures to illustrate my point, that you can be creative regardless of the scenario. So there you have it. I hope you found this video inspiring. And if you thought so, hit that like button. It will tell YouTube that you dig this videos and it will show it to other people with your same interest. If you're not already a subscriber, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. It's good to see you here and I'll see you on the next one.